Hey everybody, how's it going? Today we're going to be looking at the Benchmade 810 Contigo. I got this guy in a trade for a Benchmade Mini Crooked River. Uh, he's all packaged up, ready to go, because I'm going to be trading him and uh, my ZTO350 for a Microtech Sigil. So, I'm excited for that. Uh, when this knife first came out, uh, it must have been a while ago, um, I was actually really interested in it. I thought it was really cool. Um, I like the Osborne design, so if I flip that guy open, um, you, you can tell it's similar to the 940, everybody's favorite, just kind of like a bigger version with a little more, uh, aggressive to, uh, handle design. Uh, you can see the Osborne logo there. CPM, uh, what is this? Ooh, it's kind of dirty. Clean that off. Get to that CPM M4. That's interesting. I've never heard of that one. Um, yeah, this knife uh, has a very cool uh, silver DLC coating on it. I, uh, I've never seen another one like this. I think it's really cool. Uh, the blade design is beautiful. It's a nice, uh, almost sheep's foot design. Big bellied edge with uh, like a uh, minimal spear point with the. Uh, beveling up here, or the switch, whatever you want to call it. So, got G10 scales on the, the handles here with the interesting kind of the, the waffle pattern up here, but with some waves and contouring on the sides, which I really like. Um, it is very nice to hold. It's, uh, it is very balanced too. If I hold my, thing, my uh, pointed finger right there, you can see that it balances and that's right where my pointed finger would naturally rest. So, Good jimping on the back with the both the scale and the stainless steel liners. Both uh, in this big finger finger well, and pretty much just all along the handle where your fingers would be resting when you're gripping the knife. Uh, no jimping on the top of the blade, which is okay. Probably look a little weird if it did. Uh, Torx screw hardware. Typical bench mate except for these guys. Uh, those are just kind of backwards, which is. A little weird, but he has a deep carry clip on it. It's a little bit of wear. This is a pre-owned knife, like I said. So uh, nice big jimping on the back here with this. Uh, might I imagine to be G10 with the glass breaker too. Little guy right there. I think it's big enough to do damage, but not big enough to actually do any damage. So this does have Benchmade's axis lock. Uh, very smooth drop shut, and you can also flick it out and close. So, all right, let's talk some specs here. We have an overall length of 9.3 inches, so this, I mean, it's definitely a big knife, as you can tell by how far apart my hands are just holding it. Um, good, good big knife. I'm a, I'm a fan of bigger knives, I'll be honest. Uh, small knives uh, don't do a lot for me. Also because you're, you're usually paying the same price. So if it's a more expensive knife, then I would feel more, it's more logical for me to get a bigger one than a smaller one. So only exception would be my uh, Microtech UTX-70, but that's just more of a novelty thing. So really, it is a really nice knife. Uh, like I said, I will be trading this guy away, so catch and release for sure, but very solid. I wouldn't mind owning this. Uh, let's see what else we got. Blade length, about four inches, so also a good size. Definitely on the bigger side, uh, bigger end, whatever you want. Um, blade thickness, 0.16, good stock. We also have a uh, black grind, the gray, the gray finish, like I mentioned, with a full plain edge. You can get this in a partially serrated. Uh, you can also get it in a black DLC coating. I don't know if they make satin by this blade. I don't think they do, which is kind of interesting. We have a handle length of 5.3 inches with the handle thickness of just over half an inch. Very comfortable for the thumb because it's so thick for at least for me at least. 
really takes up the majority of my thumb. It gives me a nice uh, staple, staple grip on there. Very ergonomic design. It looks very aggressive, but it is very comfortable in the hand with the, uh, the wave contouring right where your fingers would go into and exit the finger well. Like I said, we have the G10, the stainless steel. This guy, uh, he weighs about six ounces. So big knife, more weight, but it really, it really does not feel too heavy. I think that's also due to the fact that it's so spread out over this length. Uh, the weight's not really concentrated into a, one area or the other. Um, It is a really solid knife. I, I would definitely. Well, I don't know if I'd buy this on my own, on my own, uh, for a, a real keeper. I don't get to use a lot of my knives very much anymore, so none of them are seeing real use. So I can't say if this would be a good beater or not. Um, it probably would, due to the size, and you know, it's it's a benchmade, so I mean, it's a quality knife. It's a black class as well, so it's designed to be used in uh, both tactical situations and really in EDC, so. Very, uh, very nice. Uh, I can do one, uh, one size comparison here with my less than nice Sog Trident. It's one of the first knives I ever got. So. Contigo's got about an inch on it. Yeah, I'm excited to swap this guy for this sigil though. I don't know if I'll keep the sigil either, but I'll at least like to set it on one. And I, uh, I may be weird, but I keep a like a kind of a spreadsheet of all the knives I've owned with uh, their like specifications and stuff. So. Probably just because I'm weird, but it's also cool to look back at all the things that have that I have and have had. Uh, I'm excited to get back home at the end of the semester so I can really start doing a review of the other knives that I have. I did uh, did most of them. Most of them are already on this channel, but there's still a handful that I'd still like to do. Some lower end ones that I really used for a long time. Uh, a lot of CRKTs. Also, I am expecting to have some new additions to the collection. A little Star Wars meme there. Um, some new additions come uh, around the holiday season. So this has been the uh, Benchmade 810 Contigo.